in today's video, I wanted to talk to you about some of the favorite things I like to have in my coffee mug. So let's start with my everyday coffee traditionally. So let me show you the three things I usually put in it. So my everyday coffee mug will traditionally contain three things. A sweetener, usually stevia of some form, Come on, this is the one I'm using right now. Um, unsweetened vanilla cashew or almond milk, and a little bit of coffee creamer. My favorite traditionally is Coffee Mate sugar-free vanilla. And those are the three things that will be usually in my coffee cup every day. I'm also gonna share with you some of my other favorite drinks I like to make at home and my favorite Starbucks order. So let me show you the next one I like to make. Okay. So some of the other things I really like to make um, from home are a pumpkin spice latte. Um, this is from Sprouts, but it's their pumpkin spice black tea. And the other thing I like to make is my own chai latte. This is Oprah chai from uh, Tiovana. And that's actually one of my favorites and I'll actually make my own like dirty chai latte. So that's what I'm gonna make for you right now. So let me start with a cup of coffee. I'm gonna go put like half a cup of coffee in the microwave or check the pot and make sure it's warm and then I'll show you what I'm gonna do from there. So to make my dirty chai latte, I like to get about half a cup of coffee, um, about half a serving of the, the, the chai latte mix. And so what I'll do is I'll take another coffee mug or if I have a kettle, I'll fill it up with about half a cup of water. You can't really see that. And then I'm gonna heat this up till it's super hot and then I'm gonna steep this chai latte mix in it and then go from there. So this chai mix is a loose leaf mix, which is really nice because you can make it as strong as you want. Um, I have one of these little balls, these little tea balls, so I fill all the, about half of it or less with the chai tea. And I put it in the glass, the cup that I put, I'm heating up right now after it gets out of the microwave for about two or three minutes so that way it'll steep and then I'm going to mix the coffee and that together. So Good, come on. Why is this so hard? Okay, so I have put my little tea ball in my glass here. I'm gonna take it out, okay, and I'm gonna pour my little chai into my black coffee. Traditionally, you'll make this with um, espresso, but I don't have said espresso machine, so we're using with what we have. I'm going to add one packet of stevia in here. Man, it would really help if you could actually see this cup that I'm working with here, wouldn't it? Okay, I'm gonna add that. One packet of stevia. You might add a little bit more depending on your taste. Okay, um, add your dairy or non-dairy beverage of choice. I'm going to use cashew milk. Okay, and the last, but I think most important for, at least for me, is I like a vanilla chai latte. So I put a little bit of coffee creamer or I'll do a little bit of vanilla extract. And then I just make sure that's stirred up really, really well. And now I have a homemade dirty chai latte a la carte Kelsey. And it's delicious. I love it. I've decided I'm gonna make myself a pumpkin spice latte. So I'm gonna heat up some water here in the microwave, half the usual amount, about two minutes so that way it gets really hot and I'll put the pumpkin spice tea in there and then I'll add the cashew milk and it's one of my favorite ways to make a pumpkin spice. And I'll add a little bit of stevia sweetener in it and it's perfect and it has a ton less 
calories some of the stuff you get at Starbucks. I never thought I'd be a pumpkin spice person, but I am truly a pumpkin spice person. I got this at Sprouts, but um, Trader Joe's, even Walmart, um, your local grocery store has something like this, Amazon. If I find something on Amazon for this, I'll link it in the description. Okay, back to making tea. This freaking mug is so hot that I have to use a towel. Yeah, you mean best dog mom ever. Um, so I'm gonna open my little tea packet in here. Correction, you mean attempt. Okay, we're gonna open this puppy up, throw it in the mug, let it steep a wee bit here. Let's see if we can fix this seeing dilemma here. Okay, so we're gonna put the little pumpkin spice tea in here. Yes, I'm tri pissing beverages, kombucha, water, pumpkin spice latte. I have some stevia here. I'm gonna put probably about half of a spoon here, which is about a probably about one teaspoon, and then I'm gonna let this steep. So what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna grab a little plate. Put that on there, that'll allow the tea to steep. And so in the meantime, I'm gonna put everything back. A little tea is steeping. Ooh, it's getting nice and dark and it's still going. So I'm gonna use cashew milk um, for the latte portion um, and a little bit of this almond milk just because there's not much left and then I need space in the fridge here. I prefer um, unsweetened vanilla almond milk or cashew milk, but Use whichever one you want and for one cup of cashew milk, it's two grams of fat, one carb, and less than a gram of protein. Um, and then for the almond milk, this one has three grams of fat, two carbs, and one gram of protein. This is the HEB band. Um, band. This is the silk brand. Um, I like the cashew milk because it's creamier. Um, I do want to try like making one of those like homemade cashew milky milk thing kits, um, but that's for another day another time another week when i'm still not in grad school two more weeks two more weeks and i'm going to drink some water water is critical for the function of your body um, a lot of times you'll get headaches because you're dehydrated um and it just is, you know, required for multiple functions of your body. So make sure you're drinking enough water. I have not today. Um, this is my little hydro flask. It's 40 ounces. I try to drink two of these a day, so I'm about to finish off my first one, which should have been done three hours ago. Um, and then I'm going to try to knock out the other one before I go to bed. So here we go. Okay, got it done. Um, but I've had this for a while. It has survived me. Hell, take my little face out. And it has lots and lots of bumps from lots and lots of drops. Um, I had one of those like plastic bottles for a long time and I dropped it till it shattered. Um, so we decided to invest and upgrade into one of these little flasks. It's from Cockrell where we used to live. Um, but I love this thing and it stays insulated so it stays cold all day, which is fabulous. Um, and this is actually the nozzle from the shattered plastic one plastic one so that way i um i don't uh uh you know pour it down my shirt sometimes i still do but it just helps a little bit so uh i'll link a similar one in the bottom they're not cheap um but i've had this guy for i think four years now and you can just clean them with water vinegar and it um, stays really nice and clean. Then I just let it air dry with the cap off. Well, obviously you can't let it dry with the lid on or it just mold. So I do that and um, I'm gonna just keep using the guy and I try to keep just water in mine. Um, I try to keep like little other cups that are insulated like a Yeti cup or an Arctic or whatever and I put other things in it. But this guy I try to keep solely just for water so that there's no flavor. My husband has an Arctic that's like almost a whole gallon and he puts his cold brew coffee in it um it's insanity but it's amazing i can't wait to show you how he makes the coffee when i see him next good 
morning, beautiful people. It is colder than it was yesterday, and it's still raining. Yay. So, my roommate is now sick, or Miss Cheryl. So I am going, I left the house as soon as possible. Um, cause I've got to be at school anyway, but two, I didn't want to be exposed to it any longer than I needed to. So I actually didn't have time to make breakfast. So I am taking you guys with me to Starbucks and I'm going to show you what I order from Starbucks. Um, one thing I do want to mention is I do prefer to use the Starbucks mother of pearl just in the driveway. Struggle. So I just prefer usually to use the app than to go through the drive-thru. So I will show you what I normally order or I'll just go through the drive-thru and then can see it. Okay, see y'all there. Mother of pearl, this is so hard. Okay, so to resolve the breakfast issue I had with my roommate being sick, I went ahead and stopped by Starbucks and I got um, a hot version of what I normally get and a breakfast sandwich. It's not really an everyday thing, it's more like a special thing, but this is something I'm getting. So my favorite thing to get from Starbucks is, let's see, some version of this guy right here. So it's an iced triple espresso um, with one Splenda or one Stevia and then depending on what I want in it, I'll do like half and half or heavy cream or just non-fat milk depending on the day. So that's my favorite. Um, the hot version of that, which is much pricier, I try to only do that when I have a free reward hashtag coupon, hot hidden coupon lady. And so it, it comes out as a latte. It's much more expensive. The other one, by the way, the other ice version of the triple expression, it's only $2.65. You wanna talk about a steal? That's amazing. And plus, if you put it in your own cup when you go through the drive-thru, or not the drive-thru, when you're in the store, it comes out to two fifty-five dollars because you get the 10 cent cup special. Anyway, so the hot version of that is a grande cafe latte with ristretto espresso shots, triple, um, and I'll do one Splendor or one Stevia, and then I'll add flavor depending on what I feel like, and then the dairy will change depending on what I like. So that's typically what I get. Some of my other favorites are, I love an Americano. Americanos are my favorite, so I'll get an Americano with a little bit of cream and of course a sweetener of some kind. Um, the other thing I really like to get is, let's see if it's down here at the bottom. I just love using my app. It's just so much easier for me to use. Um, is an iced chai latte, and I'll actually do it dirty or not, and dirty means you'll add espresso into it. So, but typically it's a, I'll wait until I have a reward, which is a venti. I'll get um, the sugar-free sugar vanilla, non-fat milk, and then I'll have them do light ice because I want more drink than not. Um, other things I really enjoy from the menu are the um, the teas. I love the pineapple black tea. I'll do a pineapple black tea um, in a venti and then I'll have them add coconut milk with the Splenda and it turned out to like a pina colada per se. The other one is I like the tango passion tea with no sweetener. I just love that plain Jane. It's just phenomenal. But those are typically what I get at Starbucks. Um, 